Are you guys ready for some new data tokens? I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. I just hit the, I hit the download button. Camera two, camera two, ready? All right, download the patch. <laughs> download the patch. <laughs> We've got two new tokens for our data token line to unveil to you today, and they are the seduction token and the malware token. Dun dun dun. <laughs> so let's dive in. First, kicking it off with this token, the seduction token is a beautiful blue transparent acrylic. You've come to love it on your tag tokens. Mm, it just you it that shines, it have, glows. Yeah, I think it's probably one of the best acrylics that we have access to, so we wanted to use it again. Mm -hmm. And this is paint filled on a single side, has the parallax effect standard in all of the data token line. And here's the crazy thing about this token is that from a distance, it looks like a beautiful lady. Mm -hmm. uh, and this was inspired. What well, the inspiration here for the hearts and uh, all yeah, the texture, actually, Yeah, actually, yeah. Whenever I, whenever I was uh, designing this, I actually looked at. I said, everyone close their eyes, and I looked up a bunch of hot singles in your area ads. <laughs> safe, so search I, <laughs> safe search was on. Safe search was on, so that I could kind of figure out what what that is. Because actually, that's really a lot like what this token represents. Is that it looks beautiful on the outside, but once you get up close to it, and once you have enough knowledge about it. There's that skull behind it, which means Roll the dice. it's coming to get you. Could could actually be there to kill you. So on the front side, like basically whenever this is across the table, mm -hmm. it's like, ah, uh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. It's a nice looking, yeah, it's deal. attractive, it's cool, no, not, not, a, not a threat. Yeah, it's just, a, just a lady's face, a heart, you know, seems to be into me, yeah, things are cool. Yeah, seems to be cool. And then when you get close to it, whoa, there it is, a sinister skull staring at you from the from the subtle distance mm -hmm. and it really puts you on edge. I, lo I love to use these tokens, of course, for uh, Femme Fatale, Very which good is Femme Fatale. more than compatible with. Yep. But I also have been fond of putting these on my Earthrise Hotels also. Mm -hmm. It's three tokens, you get three in a pack, and it's three on the Earthrise, and you gotta think, it's Earthrise Hotel, You've got some some beautiful ladies there, yeah. probably. And beautiful also men and women all probably, over the place. Uh, probably some ladies there that will go back to your room and then take your kidneys. And you know? de devious intentions. And that's devious what this token is all about. So that's what we're going for here. In the parallax, I think, of any token mm -hmm. uh, for the data token line, this is the most uh, stunning parallax that there has been because it really kind of gives you the secret meaning behind mm -hmm. what we're trying to accomplish with this look. And uh, yeah, actually, like you know, you know those old like visionary toys. I still know them. You know, I know them. The we grew up together. They had like a holographic <laughs> staff that you would do that. Yeah. And like yeah, this is we kind of the only people who actually know <laughs> I what think that is. No one knows visionary. Sorry, guys. But you know those holograms where it's like you know there'll be a face and you turn it and it reveals yeah. itself to be a skull. And that's really what this is doing with the parallax effect is that whenever you look at it, it's nice, yeah, but it's good. got it's, it's got takes the mask off. Fun. And then uh, and then it's a skull and then. You're scared. And then you're scared, and you're, and you're like, ah, ah, ah. No, Terrifying. so this is, and, and one of the reasons that this is such a cool effect uh, is that a lot of times this token, if you're using it for Fem, will actually go on your opponent's mm -hmm. side of the board, which is one of the only tokens yep, in the game the that does that. The only one I could think of was the Parasite, potentially, with yep. virus tokens on it. Uh, so you're, you're actually getting to have yours look all nice and pretty for, to your opponent, mm -hmm. but then the one on their side of the board is then a they little realize, bit more devious. Oh, no. Say, oh no. Oh no. This is a disaster. <laughs> uh, so that's the seduction token. Let's move on to the malware token. Yeah, so the malware token really, like, you, it's actually the first one to break from the tradition of parallax. Yes. Parallax effects in the uh, well, Some in the of our holiday token tokens did as well. That's true. We had a nice true. wide acrylic. So we, we began to get not too scared to break, to break that the parallax idea effect. a little bit. But, the, the reason that we did that is really so that they show up better in the dark environment. So people have, have talked to us about it. Our old virus we token. We hear you. We hear you. We heard you. We heard you. And we wanted to make one that would, all, that would show up in, in these dark environments and be more be different enough from the virus that maybe you could use two on the table? Like, let's say... Absolutely. You know, in you fact, I've, I've been doing this. Uh, I'll do, like, my data suckers with one, mm -hmm. and then I'll do, like, my medium with another. So, like, I have my original ones on the medium, and then I have the new ones on the data sucker. That way, it's happened about once. It happens about once a year. You know, <laughs> something happens, you play a card, or it's an exciting moment, and the virus tokens kind of get a little muddled. And mm -hmm. a lot of times, your data sucker and medium are next to each other, your, whatever viruses you're running. And then it becomes a weird game of trying to remember how many virus tokens were on which. Usually mm -hmm. you can sort it out, but this prevents all of that confusion and it just makes it way easier to keep that clean board state. 
And really, it stemmed from one of the contacts that we got a long time ago was people playing in pubs. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Primarily, like in the UK, we get these, it's like, well, it's really low light, and I love the viruses, but I can't really see them as well as I'd like. Mm-hmm. Well, here you go. Nice, bright, vivid, yeah. right on the table. And because of that, we had we, we try to maintain uh, sort of the same look as the virus. So you have the, the big X in the front with the square. Yeah. But also, because of that, we had to take what the data that may have been on the backside of a, of a normal data token and move it to the front. So you actually see this malicious code hiding behind uh, this the X, and it's like kind of like it's, it's opened up and exposed the heart of it's, the uh, it's of the, the heart program. of a virus. As as everybody knows, the heart of a virus is simply code. Yeah, because there's there's all sorts simply of viruses, code. all sorts of viruses now that, that you can use this on, and they're all very different. So yep. making one that would fit what what's the what's the the line the the unifying line that that unites all viruses and it is simply malicious code it's code it's lines of code guys and that's i mean that's really what who, hackers are doing is they could be scared code. yeah it's uh, just words and numbers yeah so we were, we were watching mr robot which is a fantastic show if no one's ever, you gotta ever start watched it or, and, or keep going if you're already <laughs> into it because oh my gosh and i was really enamored by the fact that they treated viruses in this way which is actually one of the few times that i ever anyone's really treated it like code in an exciting manner and not use this sort of like weird Hollywood UI. So you're saying that code isn't always the most exciting topic? Well, just some people see code and they're like, well, well, them's words, you know? <laughs> I want to see like uh, big monsters and stuff like that. Yeah. But at the, like at the heart of an imp, at the heart of a parasite, it is simply malicious code being sort of realized on the net in these sort of fantastical ways. Yeah. So you're getting an inside look into the realities of what's happening mm-hmm. when you're playing those viruses on the table. Yeah. Very, very cool. So that's an opaque black. It's got a beautiful red paint fill. Nothing on the back of that one. The seduction is, again, the blue transparent acrylic. It's got the paint fill on the front, and it's got an engraving on the back to show that hidden seduction skull. Uh, really love these tokens in addition to the data token line. So all of you guys who have bought our data tokens, we cannot wait yes. for you to get your hands on these. Those of you on the fence, well, now's a great time to jump in, get the mm-hmm. whole set, make your board come alive whenever just you're playing pop, all of your favorite all over games. The place. Yeah. Absolutely. And again, thank you guys for, for buying stuff thank, from us. Thank you guys for supporting us. I mean, it is the literally, it's the success of the data tokens uh, with the community members that have, that have bought it that allows us to go back and revisit these designs, allows us time to really perfect these designs. And again, it just allows us to just make everything that much better, which hopefully that makes it that much more appealing to buy, and it's just one happy big circle. It's great for everybody. We just can't say it enough. (laughs) Thank you guys for everything, and uh, keep on playing some of the greatest games in the world. That's all that we can ask. And uh, we'll be there to provide some tokens for your pleasure. That's right. Take care, guys. We'll see you again soon.